What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm down at Benson Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram getting to check out the 2021 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. Huge shout out to them for providing this muscle car for me today. Make sure you guys check out their website. That will be down in the description below. This model here is finished off in F8 green and it has an MSRP just over $53,000. Let's go ahead and start off today's review by jumping up underneath the hood. Where you'll find the 6.4 liter SRT Hemi V8 engine. This is paired to the eight speed automatic transmission. It pumps out 485 horsepower around 6,100 RPM and 475 pound feet of torque around 4,100 RPM. This is rear wheel drive. It weighs in right around 4,400 pounds It'll do zero to 60 in just over four seconds up to its top speed of 175 miles an hour. And with a fuel capacity of 18 and a half gallons, you'll expect to see around 15 miles per gallon in the city and 24 out on the highway. This has a wheelbase of 120 inches. Its overall length is 200.8. It has a width of 75 inches and a height of 57.8 inches. And with all those specs out of the way, we can go ahead and take a look at the exterior on the Dodge Charger. So I'm going to start up top on the hood, where you can see there's a slight bulge running right down the center. You'll also notice the functional air inlet, which will provide maximum cooling for that SRT Hemi V8 engine. And you'll also see this model has the carbon fiber stripes. So they start at the back of the hood and work their way all the way to the lower section of the bumper. And it ties in nicely with this F8 green. As we work our way to the grill now, you'll see there's a really nice pattern running throughout that, along with some openings to provide more cooling to that engine and on both sides of the grill you can see large cutouts for more inlets to provide extra cooling so there's definitely no shortage of cooling for this engine and then on the sides of that you'll see the hid headlights along with the turn signals and the drls they have a really nice sleek housing and it's really nice to see how they're about the same size as the grill so it has a really nice sleek design running across the entire front end You'll also notice down below we have the same grill with the same pattern and then on both sides of that there are fog lights. And then you'll see more of the contoured lines running in the lower section of the bumper just to add to that aggressive front end design. Making our way to the side profile now for the Dodge Charger. I'm going to start off with these wheels. They measure 20 by 9.5 in all four corners, have a matte black finish to them along with a split five spoke design which just gives it a really aggressive look from the side. You'll also notice this has Brembo brakes with six pistons up front. And then working your way behind that, you'll see the Hemi 392 badge along with the body colored side mirrors. And then you'll see up top, this has a sunroof and you'll see the carbon fiber stripes continue down the roof, giving it a really cool look. And then the side profile for the Charger has a really nice design. I love all the lines that run down the side. You'll notice the side skirts have some aggressive contours to them as well. And then there's a really nice line in the door. It works its way towards the front tires and then tapers back just above the door handles all the way to the rear tape. Lights. And now finishing up in the rear for the Dodge Charger, I'm going to start with the trunk mounted spoiler. You'll see it's finished off in matte black to match the wheels of course and give it that extra aggressive look. You'll also notice the carbon fiber stripes continue all the way down to the lower diffuser. Right in the middle of the trunk you can see the backup camera along with the LED light ring that surrounds the entire middle section here just giving it that iconic Charger look. And then down in the lower diffuser, you can see the dual exhaust. So now with the vehicle locked and the key in my pocket, all I have to do is walk up to the vehicle. I can grab on the door handle and you will hear it automatically unlock. Now we can go ahead and take a look at this leather door panel. So you'll see the stitching that runs down the backside. We have more stitching on the upper section. A really nice trim piece running just underneath the armrest as well. We have all the window controls and the side mirror adjustments. You'll also notice the memory seating adjustments just in front of the release handle. And this model also has the 19 speaker Harman Kardon sound system, which is a really nice feature. And then you'll notice on the lower section of the door, there's a good amount of storage space. And now working our way to the interior, we can get a really nice view of these leather and suede seats. You can see the logo right in the center, really aggressive bolstering support with stitching running down them. These seats are also heated and ventilated as well, and they have a multiple way power adjustability. You can see all those controls down on the side. And now once inside with my foot on the brake, we can go ahead and start it up. You'll see on the left side of the gauge cluster is the TAC, on the right side is the miles per hour, and then right in the center we have a digital screen where you'll see the engine temperature along with the fuel gauge and a lot more information we can scroll through. So using buttons on the left side of the steering wheel, we can go from the miles per hour to vehicle information where you can look at your TPMS and you have some other vitals that you can monitor, which is really nice to see. 
You can scroll down and look at your performance. So you have your zero to 60 timer and various other timers. So if you're taking this to the drag strip, you can monitor all of that information. Along with your G-Force meter, you have lap times and lap time records that you can look at. You can also go down to your fuel economy if you'd like to view that page, along with your trip information. You have your audio, any messages that you wanna go through, and your screen setup. So you can see in the upper left is the compass, in the upper right is the outside temperature. You can go in and configure those to what you'd like to see the most, which is really nice to see as well. And so now, making our way to the steering wheel, you'll see it's completely covered in solid and perforated leather. Over on the left side, we have the Bluetooth and voice commands, along with all the controls I was using for the gauge cluster. And then on the right side, we have all the cruise control settings. You'll also notice this has steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, along with a few more hands-free controls on the back side for your volume and tuning for the radio. Over on the left side of the steering wheel, you'll see the trunk release, along with some dimmer switches. We have the adjustments for the headlights and the fog lights. And then down below, we also have the manual parking brake. You'll see there's one air vent to the left side of the gauge cluster and a really nice trim piece backing all of that. And then right in the center, we have the 8.4 inch screen. So there's a lot of information that you can go through within the system. You'll see right now we are on media. We can go into the climates. If we turn those on, you can adjust all of your climate controls, of course. We have the fan speed, where you'd like the air to go, along with the temperature. You can also go into the heated and ventilated seat controls along with the heated steering wheel. And then by clicking on these settings there, you can go through all of your general information if you'd like to. And then if I click on apps, you can pull up various different apps to go through. So you can see your STR mode. We have the heated and ventilated seats. We can also swipe over and look at some more information like your performance pages. And whatever you use the most, you can bring it down to this bottom bar. So if I hold on performance pages, I can swipe it all the way down and place it at the bottom. So that's a really nice shortcut to be able to get to that information. Information. We can also pull up the navigation and view that map in full screen and then phone and settings is often to the right side If we go to the performance page, you'll see all of the performance data Of course, you can look at your horsepower your current gear and g-force So if I give the vehicle some gas, you can see the horsepower there change just a little bit you can go into the timers, look at all of that information, various different gauges that you can monitor while you're out on the track or the drag strip. You can look at your G-forces. So again, if I give it some gas, you can see that on the screen up here. And then you can also look at the dyno graph there, just giving it a little bit of gas. So you have a lot of information that you can go through, which is really nice to see. You'll also notice an air vent on both sides of that screen. And then down below, you'll see we have power and volume for the radio along with tuning. You can also mute or shut off that upper screen. There's different drive modes that you can go into. So just by clicking on that, you will see this appear. If I click on the drive modes, you can go between the transmission, paddle shifters, traction, and steering. Just by clicking on any one of those, you can configure this how you would like to. So it's really nice to be able to do that, especially going between the track or city driving. You can change this up however you would like to. You'll also notice this has launch control. You can turn on and off the parking sensors along with shutting off traction control. And then just underneath that, we have physical buttons for the climate controls. So your fan speed, temperature, and everything like that. And then working your way below that, you'll see there's a nice storage bin here for your phone or some smaller items along with a 12 volt on the right side. And then making our way to the shifter. If I just pull on the release, put the vehicle into reverse, you'll see the backup camera up here with the guidelines. And then you can also put this into manual mode. You can shift using this or the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters as I showed earlier. On the right side of that, you'll see a little bit more storage space. And then working your way behind that, there are two cup holders. So you can open up this tray if you need to use those. And you have a small slot in the center if you have a phone or some smaller items. And then working our way to the armrest now, you'll see that's covered in leather. We can open this up and it will reveal this removable tray. You'll also notice some USB ports on the back side, along with a 12 volt on the bottom. So you have a good amount of storage space for anything that has to go there. And then moving on to the glove box, you'll see it has a split shelf design. So you can throw in a lot of items there if you need to. We'll go ahead and take one last look at these seats. And then as I mentioned earlier, this does have a sunroof. So we can go ahead and open that up. We have all of those controls along with some garage door buttons and the dome lights and then a sunglass holder in the front. Now working our way to the rear seats for the Dodge Charger. I'm gonna start off with the amount of room that I have. At five foot 10, I have the front seat set at my height. I have a few inches in front of my knees and a few inches above my head. These are incredibly comfortable back seats. I love the bolstering support that they have. So you sink into these nicely and they are very comfortable. They're also heated seats too. So you have those controls in the center along with two USBs and both your air vents. And then there's also a little bit of storage space behind both front seats as well. 
If you don't have a middle seat passenger, we have this armrest here with two cup holders along with some additional storage space just behind that. And these rear seats have a 60-40 split. So if you need to fold them down to put in larger items, you have the option to do that. And then last up, we'll go ahead and take a look at the trunk storage space. So you can use the button on the key fob if you'd like to, or you can use the button on the right side of the E. So just by pushing on this, this will go ahead and open up. And you'll see there's a good amount of storage space with the back seats up. We have a nice flat surface. There is a hook on the driver's side if you want to put groceries or other bags like that. And then by folding the back seats down, that gives you an ample amount of room to put in larger items if you need to. And the sides of the trunk actually go out in both ways. So you can put larger items sideways if you need to, which is really nice to see in a vehicle like this. And then up top, there is one grab handle where we can go ahead and close this up. All right, so getting the 2021 Dodge Charger Scat Pack out on the road now. Boy, does this sound so good. I love the rumble of that V8 engine. from the outside too it just sounds so good I have the vehicle in the manual shifting mode right now along with transmission and street just to be conservative along with traction and steering these paddles and these shifts are incredibly responsive going all the way down to second <laughs> I can't get over that V8 rumble it just sounds incredibly good and I love how the chargers handle as well this has been a really fun car to drive. I'm not going to be able to get it out on any twisties, but with the features that this model has with launch control and all of these different settings that you just saw me go through, you have an incredible vehicle straight from the factory. So you can take this out to the drag strip on back mountain roads. You really have an awesome performing family sedan at the same time. You can put three other people, four other people in here with you and go out with them and just have a blast. So this is a really, really fun muscle car to be able to drive and it's practical too. So this would be a great daily driver because of the amount of room that you have in the back and the fact that you can fold the back seats down too. <laughs> I am short shifting obviously because it's a brand new vehicle, but uh, I couldn't imagine just stepping on it using that launch control and going through all the various information you have for your zero to 60, zero to 100, all those different times. I mean, it's so crazy to see what a factory vehicle can have. So let's move on to some of the more practical aspects of driving the Dodge Charger, like visibility. You're gonna be driving this every single day. Visibility is really easy to see all around. Looking over your left shoulder and over your right shoulder, there's really no blind spots. Those pillars in the back are not all that bulky, so you have a clear view over both shoulders. And then, like I said, this is so comfortable to drive. I love these seats. With the bolstering support that they have, I just feel like I'm in a race car here, driver focus, but just cruising like normal now, this is a very comfortable car to drive. Even with that loud exhaust, as you can hear under accelerations, right now just cruising, you can't hear it. It pretty much goes away unless you actually step on it. And you can hear it just a little bit there. So it's, a, it's going to be a great daily driver because of how quiet it can be. If you're just cruising like normal, I really love that aspect to it. So you honestly have the best of both worlds in the Dodge Charger. You have a practical family sedan that you can drive to the grocery store, you can take to work, and then you also have a family muscle car sedan that you can take to the track, you can put your friends and family in the back and just have a blast with that setup. So I love the versatility of any kind of driving that you wanna do with this. But I think that's gonna wrap it up for my walk around review and test drive behind the wheel of the 2021 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. Once again, massive shout out to Benson Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram for providing this vehicle for me today. Make sure you guys check out their website. That will be down in the description below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date with our daily uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video.